How many of you actually have set goals you just found that you didn't follow through and or achieve them? How many times throughout the year on hitting those goals, you've actually watched your productivity slow down and decrease? What if I could show you how you can increase your productivity 11 to 25% just by setting goals? My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is how to easily set goals for financial freedom. Now, let's be honest, everyone out there has talked about setting a goal. We all know how to do that, at least from a general perspective. But when it comes to financial freedom, you gotta go more in depth, right? Because if you wanna be free, you wanna start making this money, right? These $100 bills, my wife got this and it was gold and I thought it was bad ass. But if you wanna become financially free, you gotta be more strategic. And it's like I tell clients all the time, you gotta be so strategic, more detail than the guy down the street trying to rob the bank. So if you don't know what that plan is and how to achieve your goals, the chances of you hitting financial freedom isn't really gonna happen. So why should we set goals? In the 1960s, there was two psychologists, Edwin Locke and Gary Latham, Latham, discovered that goal setting was one of the easiest ways to increase productivity and motivation. Right Over a couple studies around goal setting, they found that it increased anywhere from 11 to 25% of an individual's productivity. Now, yes, we've all heard you want short-term goals, you want long-term goals, and while all that is important, I really believe that that's true and you must do that. However, what I wanna share with you is two processes that will really help you on the path to financial freedom. The first one is the difference between end goals and aim goals. What is an end goal? What is an aim goal? An end goal is something that will eventually come to an end when you achieve it. An aim goal is something you consistently do that never ends. For example, an end goal. You may have an end goal to have a $5 million or more net worth. That is a goal that you can set and achieve and it comes to an end. Whereas an aim goal may be to constantly record YouTube videos for your audience to make an impact, right? There's no end to it. It's just something that you continuously do. Or maybe it's continue to make 100 phone calls each week to be able to get to financial freedom. Whatever your aim goal is, it's something that's gonna continuously go on. I have a perfect aim goal when it comes to my marriage and my kids and that is to be present with them all the time. That's an aim goal. It's something I aim at every day to achieve. It's never gonna come to an end. So on the path to financial freedom, it's important to have the end goals, but what's your aim goal, right? What is your aim on the path to financial freedom that's gonna allow you to conquer that on a daily or weekly or maybe even a monthly basis? What I've found from personal experience and working with clients is that when you have an aim goal, it's something that you enjoy, it's something that's continuously helping you have momentum or even build confidence on your path to your end goal, you really become more fulfilled on the journey. See, most people on the path, they are not fulfilled in what they're doing and that's why they never reach financial freedom. Now, yes, I know there's people like Alex Ramosi, which I absolutely love and I love his viewpoints and I agree with most of them. Some of I don't, but hey, no one's perfect, not even me, right, or not Alex. And so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're fulfilled. Alex says, look, if you don't like what you do but it's making you a ton of money, do it. And that's a great philosophy if you agree with that, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. But here at Master Life by Design and how I'm helping people create financial freedom is I want them to enjoy the process and what they do. Because anyone can go get a high paying job or create a business that produces a lot of money but you just don't enjoy it and you have to push and grind it. No one likes that. When you have an end goal and you're clearly defined it, but you have a fulfilling aim goal, it's going to make the world of difference for you on your path to financial freedom. So what I wanna share with you is a different process that most people don't talk about. They usually just talk about end goals and, and knowing your purpose, and that's true, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But I wanna share something with you that I learned from my master's program, which I actually only use about one to 2% of that content or that knowledge from college uh, in what I do in helping people create financial freedom. But one of the things is I got this book, and this book was really helpful when I was working with some young athletes and utilizing 
goal setting for them to achieve their outcomes in their season. But for you, I wanna share with you a unique process that's gonna change the game for you, okay? At least it's changed the game for me. So there's three steps to this process that's gonna help you on your path to financial freedom. There's three different types of goals that you wanna set. And so the first one is outcome goals. This is pretty obvious. An outcome goal is something that you're looking to achieve. It's what you're looking to conquer. So you might even have an outcome of becoming financially free if you're not, right? Like I would say that would be one of the biggest things or if you have a job, it's to replace your job with a business that you've created or you partnered with that allows you to create the path to financial freedom a lot faster than you would at your job. So you wanna get clear, number one, in, in this year, what is the outcome that you want to achieve? Next is what we call performance goals. Performance goals are about setting a standard that you're consistently working on or towards to achieve or help achieve that outcome goal, especially if it's financial freedom. Most people who are unsuccessful in achieving financial freedom, they have their outcome goal, that's not the problem. Their performance goals, their KPIs on that, they don't have any and they fail. And the ones that are most strategic, like I said earlier, the ones that are prepared to rob the bank, they are way more detailed than the people who are not clear on what they want to achieve and, and the people who aren't going to hit their goals and probably stay broke. And I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just a lack of decision and a lack of clarity. And most of the time, most people weren't even taught this stuff. Lastly, this is my favorite part of this goal setting, and that is process goals. Process goals are something that you're consistently working towards on a daily or weekly basis, I would say at a minimum, and that is something that's in your control, right? So if we had a outcome of a $5 million net worth, or let's just say becoming financially free as we talked about earlier, and then we were talking about how you're in sales and your performance goal is closing at 50% or greater, well, something that you can control is every day watching a sales training video and practicing a role play with yourself for 10 minutes or is picking up the phone and dialing a hundred people or numbers a day right process goals are something that you can control a lot of times when we create an end goal or an outcome goal what we do is we set that on the you know on the mantle and we just leave it and we, whenever we feel like doing work towards it, that's when we'll go after it. And I will tell you the difference between wealthy people, rich people, successful people, and the ones that are broke or unsuccessful is they actually identify the process goals that they want to achieve on a daily basis. Now, here's why that's so important. The reason why that's so important is because from a psychology standpoint, you're giving yourself a checkbox every day. You're giving yourself a W when you hit your process goals every single day, or in some cases, every single week. And why that's important is because it releases dopamine in the brain and it makes you feel good. You're proud of yourself. And when you can do that every 24 hours, day after day after day, you start stacking wins. And what I will tell you is when when you stack wins and you start building that uh, that momentum and you start feeling confident more and more about your process or about your your process goals and then how you're increasing your performance all that's going to lead you to do is accelerate towards that outcome goal of becoming financially free oftentimes people ask me are process goals just like habits you know creating a new habit and i like to say yes if you if that makes you feel warm and cozy it makes you think about it, like, what are the habits you could do daily i just don't use the languaging habits even though i'm a big fan of creating new habits in this setting i like to say process goals because for me and what i found with working with other people is the goals it makes people inspired like they want to check it off a habit sometimes can feel daunting so process goals are like habits. I just don't use that languaging because I want people to feel more inspired towards what they're working towards, especially on a daily basis, versus feeling daunting around what they have to do. Now, I know we were talking about financial freedom. However, a lot of examples I like to give clients is around LeBron James and winning an NBA title. So if LeBron James has an outcome goal of winning an NBA title, that's his outcome goal. His performance goals may be like shooting 90% or greater from the free throw line, shooting 33% or greater from three-point land, right? 
whatever that is, whatever the performance goals he establishes as his KP, KPIs, as key performance indicators, right? That's up to him. However, when it comes to process goals, what can he can control in order to increase his performance to give him better odds to get to the NBA Finals and win it? So he may have a process goal of shooting 100 free throws before and after every practice. He may have a process goal of shooting 53 pointers before and after every practice. Those are within his control that he can do on a daily basis. The more he does that, the more his performance increases. All right, so how many of you would actually like to know a secret on creating financial freedom and gear it around the outcome process and performance goals? I know I didn't say it in order, who cares? You got the content earlier, rewind, watch it, and let's go from there. So here's the thing. On your path to financial freedom, when you set a goal, one of the process goals that I would invite you to do, and this is what I do personally and with clients, is I would set a process goal, something you can control over time and hopefully on a daily basis, of who do you need to reach out to to help accelerate your financial freedom. So if you decide you wanna play in an industry like real estate, and let's just say in a asset class like commercial real estate, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is set a process goal around the who, is who can you call on a daily basis that is in that industry, in that asset class, that has the things or the knowledge that you need to acquire so that you can build a relationship with them and accelerate your outcomes. Most people when goal setting focus on how, and I really like to focus on who, because if you're gonna become financially free, you can only do so much. You gotta figure out who can you leverage, which is one of the biggest mistakes and challenges that most entrepreneurs have on their path to financial freedom and, and scaling is they don't think about who they can get, they think about how they can do it. And that is one of the biggest challenges I help clients overcome. So. I really believe in real estate. So that would be a really good process goal for an individual and utilizing who, not how, which is actually a really good book. I encourage you all to check it out. So as we wrap up here, yes, when you set your goals, that's awesome. I encourage you doing the basic model of goal setting, which is really write out your why, make it juicy, compelling. Why do you want these outcome goals? What is it about that that really inspires you? Because what, remember, when you set your goal, you're gonna help increase it 11 to 25% studies have shown. However, when you have the purpose behind it, your why and it's juicy and compelling, it's that's gonna help carry you when you go through those tough times, when you don't feel like it. So make sure your purpose, your why is juicy and compelling and it moves you. And I say on a scale of zero to 10, being a subjective scale, it's gotta be a nine or a 10 for you. And then lastly, yes, you wanna have your massive action plan your map but understand maps change right when we built our house when we came out to build our house and we put money down to build at the end of the street it was a dead end and on the map it showed a dead end however when we came back months later to move out here as our house was being built they actually cut through that dead end and made a through road and the map eventually changed when you're on your path, especially to financial freedom, you can set the way you think you're going to achieve it and the way you wanna go after it and start working on your who's, but you also gotta understand that map is going to more than likely change. And think about it, if you're honest with yourself, if you've ever worked on a long-term goal, you know that things change. They don't always stay the way you set them out in the beginning, right? That's just life. So get used to it, have a map, but be flexible in your approach because the ones that are most, the ones that become financially free the fastest and they create financial freedom quickly are the ones that are most flexible and less rigid. All right, if you're one of those people who feel like you got it, you're good, awesome. If you're one of those other people who say, you know what, I get it, I just would love some help walking through, please reach out so we can help pair you with a coach so that you can be on your path to financial freedom a lot sooner rather than later. So with that, 
make sure you go through your outcome, your performance, your process goals, so identify a who. If you wanna go ahead and create those end goals, which is kind of like an outcome goal, and your aim goals, go for it. It's only going to help you. It's what I do and what my clients that create financial freedom, it's the process that we use. It's just one that's not talked about a lot. If you found value in this video, please make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you can get notified more powerful videos that come out that are gonna help you on your path to financial freedom. And if you have a question or a comment, please put it in the comment section. I'd love to get back to you. I'd love to engage with you and find out who you are, what you're working towards, what, more importantly, what are your outcome goals, your performance goals, and your process goals. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great one. See you guys. What I often get asked sometimes, <clears throat> let's go.